Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know it. Guys, we're not built for this. Florida is very flat. So in case you're wondering where we're hiking at this ungodly hour, we're going to the Royal Observatory here in Greenwich, where you can step on both hemispheres at the same time. Views from here are insane. And the wind too. And the wind too. <laughs> you guys can see the whole town from here. This is the line that separates the Western and Eastern hemisphere. The thing is closed, but this is the line, <laughs> so we we get to see through the fence. Guys, we accidentally stumbled on the Harry Potter store and I'm freaking out. Get all the pieces. We're gonna find a new skating bag. I apologize if it's a little windy. We're literally on top of a hill. Like, look at this view behind us. Isn't this amazing? Today we are here because we're about to skate in the fanciest ice ring that I've probably ever seen in my life. We haven't gotten inside yet, but just looking at it from the outside, you guys, seriously, seriously, this is insane. So this is Alexandra Palace ice ring or uh, British people lovingly call it the Alley Pally. So this is what we're gonna explore today. Come join. a lot of people actually for a Tuesday afternoon. We're doing the public session because apparently to get to a freestyle which is called patch here you need a coach's approval and we don't know any coaches here and we have no idea how to do this so we're just gonna go the easy route into the public session and brave the crowds. So we got here 15 minutes before our session and it's apparently sold out. They limit the amount of people at the public session apparently, which is great for skating, but kind of sucks for us because uh, our session is fully sold out apparently. So now we have to wait like two hours, 15 minutes until we can skate. So as you guys know by now, our lens broke. So we had to order a new one. It took a few days. We waited, well, like five days, four days until the lens came. And now we got to the ice rink and they don't allow us to record with a camera. They say we can only record with our phones. Pretty. You can only skate in one direction. I can feel like a real ice princess now, finally. <laughs> yeah. You know what's funny though? What I just noticed? They didn't make us sign any waivers. Usually in the US rings you always have to sign waivers when you when you come to skate. I guess people here don't don't sue everybody. <laughs> Public skating in its in all its glory.
It was close. Bruno is giving a random spinning lesson to a person at the public skating session. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know when it is over, over. All that I know is we'll get older, older. So let us dance this side away. Try this one in a long time. And it shows. Haven't said a word, but it doesn't matter. Really hurt and I think the Zam drivers were rehearsing for the Fast and Furious. <laughs> he was talking on the phone and driving the Zambani. The original goal was we were going to try to practice what we learned with Coach Hamish the other day, but it was just way too crowded. There was, there was no way. So we did a few of our usual elements. <laughs> something that we feel confident in that we're not gonna run anybody over or something <laughs> to be honest overall i felt like this is one of the prettiest rings that we've we've skated at yeah, maybe the sure. prettiest one just because it looks like a castle on the inside right like yeah and uh the ice was pretty decent size we thought it was going to be smaller it was pretty decent size even though there were like 200 people there honest opinion if you're looking for a rink to really like practice and train and work on your stuff this probably is not the best option just because it's very crowded the ice is small and it's just a lot going on and they have, they're pretty strict about like public skating rules also yes. i think this rink is more about like the overall experience like if you really want to feel like an ice princess and skate in the castle and then enjoy the gardens and just have you know make it a day um this is the one this is the one this <laughs> is definitely the one it's really cool now on to our 11 minute walk towards the train station somewhere down there somewhere down there one thing that is definitely uh we're gonna count it as a plus at uh, british rings is by the time you get to the rink you're very well warmed up <laughs> There's always at least a 10 minute walk somewhere, three trains, five buses. There's always, always that kind of commute. We're on to our walk to the train station, praying it's not gonna rain. It's already Although raining. It's already <laughs> raining, I'm not, I'm not holding it's my breath. It's already raining. <laughs> 